Hey, my lovely friends. <laughs> so today I'm finally going to go ahead and do a cosplay, like random cheering. Yay! Let's get this shit, let's get this shit. I, for the longest, wanted to take y'all on the journey of like how I did my cosplays, my creative ideas behind my cosplays, and all the works that go into what I do to make my cosplays my own, you know, unique chisdom, touch of chisdom. I like giving me a little, a little flair, especially because half the time, the characters that I do, not black. <laughs> They're either not black or they're black coated. So it's just like, uh, I've done Garner before. Um, that's about as close as it's gonna get. But everything else, I usually have to do my own flair, my own twist to it because that's just what I like to do. If you like what I do and you'd like to see that process of what I do, stay tuned because we are about to be cosplaying um, tomorrow and today uh, before I take my hair out because I don't know how I'm gonna cosplay her other than that. Like, I really don't know how she's gonna happen. I might be able to do some puffs, but like in reality, I would never dye my locks under this, at least not anytime soon. And yeah, I just don't know how I would do her. So let's, I wanna get her out the way. So I can show y'all, once I get this removed, when I show y'all other cosplays, usually they're in other styles and different fashions. So I could tweak a little bit, but for the most part, I feel like Tamari would work best with this hairstyle that I have now. So let's go ahead and show y'all the process of my, Tamari. Yes, this is a sheen bag. I do believe everyone should keep their separate little cosplays in a sheen bag. Like, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. No bullshit, it's a game changer. Because you have all your shit in one section. You want the headbands, pull it out. You want whatever, pull it out. And it's all in one thingamajig. Yes, it can get a little, you know, messy if say you have uh, someone from the Leaf Village and you have another cosplay with someone from the Leaf Village, but just put it in a little desig, put the headband in a designated, I know it's going to be in like my Naruto cosplay bag. It's so much easier to, kind of get your cosplay out and get it going. I will link everything down in the description below. That way it just is easier for everybody. So all this in this nice sheen bag or sheen will, will be listed down below for you guys to pick and choose which one you think is you know worth getting. Um, but I like to start off in sections. So let's start off with the whole ensemble of where I got the majority of the stuff. So the majority of the stuff is definitely gonna be from AliExpress. Um, that's where I got the whole fit and the whole outfit. But if you see the dress, whatever they were doing with that, I hated the texture. It was like, I don't know. It was like, it just wasn't doing it for me. It wasn't doing it for me. I was like, it's going to be hot. When I was trying to wear this at DreamCon. So it was, it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. And it's gonna be hot so i'm not doing that i'm not doing fabric that's too like feels tough it feels like it just wasn't good it felt kind of cheap so i decided to go ahead and let me get this out let's dig in the bag it's getting kind of hot right now Shit, let me turn let me turn on the ac give me one second let me turn on the ac because it's getting kind of toasty but yes <clears throat> here she is Wow. Just really a plain ass black dress. Um, and I'm pretty sure you guys can get this anywhere. I got this from Sheen. It's a size XL. So yeah, nothing too special about it really. Boom, <laughs> out the way. And then for the things that I got off AliExpress, it came with the basic um thing. I don't know which one this one is. I think this is one that wraps around her shoulders. And it also came with the one that wraps around her waist. So that was nice, that was great. Um, and it also comes with, just dropped everything. Um, also came with, come on y'all. Also came with 
these gloves are probably um, inside out and all the other outs that could be and backwards and all around. But yeah, came with these gloves and it also came with two of these. It's on the floor, I'm not picking it up. Y'all get the idea. Um, it came with two of these as well. So yeah, and I did cut it because it came, do you see this black part? You see this black part? It was cute but it wasn't what I really wanted out of the style. So I went ahead and pulled it out a little bit. I put it on first to make sure I can measure it right. And I think you guys should always do the same whenever you guys are gonna customize your cosplay. And then I went ahead and just like cut it that way. Um, it was a little loose on the bottom part of the ankle. So I just wanted my top thigh to kind of hold this part while this one would kind of fall and loosely, you know, drape instead of it looking so baggy with this one, it just looked a little bit better when I just cut it. So I, I just went ahead and cut it. But yeah, that's all that it came with. And I feel like that's what makes really the Tamara cosplay, but I didn't stop there because I wanted to go big and I didn't want to go home. I wanted to go out. So, so I went ahead and also got this fan <laughs> off of AliExpress and I also went ahead and customized it as well. Um, it really wasn't too much with the customizations. I just got like your regular regular, just found a random cup in my room. That, put a circle, obviously not the same thing I used, but you just put a circle, kind of trace it. Use like a purple Sharpie or a purple marker or whatever, and then just fill it in from there and kind of make sure you stay in between the lines. Real kindergarten work, come on people. I'm making it easy for you. But yeah, I also will link this fan too because it was pretty easy, it came fast, and I liked it. I like it. It's not the cloth one, so it did cost a little bit more, but I feel like longevity, I'll be able to reuse this versus it being paper, and I probably would just rip it and it wouldn't be used within like, I would probably get maybe two good cosplay uses out of it. But this one, I feel like I could hang it up. I feel like it's actual like, like it's art now, like, you know, she did a little something with this, you know, you know, you see it? <laughs> also, it took forever for me to pose. Like, I'm just gonna randomly throw that in there. But trying to pose with this, like, my brain and posing with this was just, it wasn't happening. But yeah, here she is. I'm going to throw it all together. Let's get down to, I think this is the last part. Um, which would be the headband. This would be the last part, my headband. I got this off of Amazon. Also, we'll link it, of course. I've been saying I'll link everything. Um, but yeah, I got it off of Amazon. And it came with, which is why I think it's worth the monies, is because it came with, uh, came with a whole bunch of other ones. I think it also has another one that's on the floor. Not picking it up. Y'all get the idea. Come on, stay with me. Stay with me here because I'm not bending down too much. All right. Um, but yeah, it, came, it comes with other ones. So it's like, I got it because I'm like, yo, I could do some Sage Mose cosplay. I could do Naruto Shippuden. Like, Itachi's right here, baby. Oh, handsome man. But yeah, it's giving me options. So I think it was worth it. I think it was like $11. So of course, I'm going to link that for y'all. But is it the most like best quality there is out there headband no is it gonna get the job done yes and that's what you need you need the job to get done and the job will get done with a little, little something like this boom and you're good to go i will be right back i'm going to try to put it all on i was thinking about being nice i was thinking and maybe i'll do one bun for y'all and show y'all how one bun looks. But I promise you, there's no way that I'm going to be having my back facing my beautiful plushies. Like, look at them. And trying to put four buns in to get this Tamari look that I did for DreamCon. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, it's out. I'll try to do one. I'll get into this cosplay and I'll try to do one. And if I can't get it, it's gonna be none. And then I'll come back on screen after I'm done getting it, you know, all together, and then we'll do something after that. But it was hard even doing it in the mirror when I was getting ready for drink on, so I don't really know. We'll see though, but again, be patient with me. The Sailor Moon will probably be a lot easier because that's my next one that I'm trying to get going, so. 
I'll be right back. Before any of that, because I'm already halfway in, I almost completely forgot the shoes, because, you know, <laughs> walk around barefoot. Um, toes out, dog stepping. But yeah, I been had these shoes. Like, I mean, like, pre-pandemic shoes. Like, these girls have been with me for a while. Where the fuck are they from? I don't know, it says Koi Footwear. Girl, I don't know. But if you really get any of these kind of like, the typical pump, the typical, is it pump? The typical little like sandal wedge vibe. You know that's comfortable. You know that can get you places. Let's do that. Let's get that in whatever size. Um, do I feel like you really need to get the Naruto sandals? No, because this did me just fine. They're cute, and I feel like they're cuter than the Naruto sandals. Not gonna hold you, sorry. Sorry, Kishimoto, but this is this was giving for me. This was doing it for me. So I was like, eh, it's cuter. I feel like if it goes with like that Tamari, she's like, she gives sassy a bad. She gives cute vibes. So I'm just like, this would overpower it for the sandal for me. So I picked this. But I did want to show y'all how I put some of these on, just in case it was a little bit difficult, but. For the first part, um, they kind of make it obvious which one is going to be the one that goes over the shoulder. Um, it's thinner, tinier. Um, the one around the waist is obviously a midgen thicker. It's a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, I usually, um, I don't know if I have to back up for this, or if y'all can see me in frame, but I will back up. I will back up just in case. <laughs> But yeah, here we are. I tried to make it even. I'm also gonna be looking at this mirror, making sure I got it right. But yeah, so I went ahead, used this, and kind of just held it right here, or wherever I felt was good enough, then slid it towards the back area. I'm gonna go ahead and move the hair. Um, and then I just proceeded to then tie it like so, basic, you know, this very much tying a shoelace you can go ahead and go from the back again and if you need help please just get a friend because don't struggle like i did i will just like i'll make it work it's okay and i did but like if you got someone who could easily tie this for you just get them to do it it's easier than how i'm struggling right now oof yeah i just went ahead and uh, Zip it through, basically like a little shoelace. And bam, there she is. And just my luck, the camera wanted to go ahead and be full on storage. So me putting on, me putting on this part, not included, so. And I'm not about to take it off. I'm so sorry, I'm not about to take it off. But I could demonstrate again how I basically did it. Same concept as the other one. Just kind of see if you could move it out the way and then tie it in a simple little knot, then double tie it again. It's real simple work, real kindergarten stuff. You know what I mean, okay. But yeah, it's really easy. Um, just tie it in the back, both of them. I like to do a bow or at least to like attempt to do a bow. So that's why I would say, if you did want anyone to help you, get help because I think it's a little lopsided right now. Let me fix her, okay. And of course, I'm always gonna be looking and checking in the mirror to make sure it looks nice for y'all. And it looks nice to me, because I would be angry um, if I look back at it and it's not the way I like it, because then I won't post it, yay. Um, yeah, so next would be, oh yeah, I completely forgot my nose ring. But a girl got a few likes on TikTok um, from posting my nose ring for the sake of this video and for the sake of time and for the sake of storage. I won't do that now, but again, I will link that one um, and I guess the video to the TikTok also in there so you guys can see, but it's like a really cute little like Naruto uh, Leaf Village sign. I tried to rep my man a little bit with um, the nose ring. I thought it was a cute idea and a cute touch to still kind of be like, oh, it's Hamari, but also my man, my man, my man, cause Shikamaru, Shikamaru, another one on my list. I decided to just like add it there and so i'll link that below this is obviously not it but you'll get the idea it's cute i'll drop a picture of what it looks like in here too because it was good it's cute and a lot of people enjoyed it so i'll just drop the link if y'all want to go ahead and go all out and do exactly what i did might as well next would be 
the hardest part for me, at least for this cosplay, which is the dome, my chis dome. So yeah, we'll see. Again, I'm trying to do one puff for y'all, but be easy on me, be easy on me, because I don't know. I don't know. This is this is scary time, Leanne. Scary time because I I will try my best. That's all I will say. I will try my best for y'all. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and take this off. Put this, I don't know, somewhere on the bed. And then take her off as well. Now all we're left with is just going to then wrap my headband around and then tie it in a nice little fashion or whatever in the back. And then I'll try again and show you guys what it looks like to part it in the sections that I did. Cause I, again, I love giving a nice little twist and I felt like this was my little black girl version, little nice cute black girl version twist on um, Tamari. So let's see, let me part it in here so I make sure I'm doing it right. And usually what I did was I already just started sectioning it off. I would section it off myself. Say if I knew I wanted this part to be in the bun, just go ahead and get you a scrunchie or whatever you need. Usually I use the smaller ones so that way when I did wrap it up in a bun, you wouldn't be able to see it. But yeah, so go ahead and get you one of those because you're probably gonna need at least, at least four. So I got four of them and I will show you guys just one because I'm not doing all of them. Just one on, on camera and then the rest off. Oh, my mother of Jesus. It was in that moment I knew y'all wasn't getting that one demonstration. All right, y'all. And this is the final look. How are we looking? How are we doing? This is, excuse me. Um went ahead as you guys can see how I cut the bottom or I don't know if you guys can see hopefully you guys can but I went ahead and cut the bottom part um and I feel like it looks a lot better and it's it will just hug right here the way it's supposed to um but I just feel like aesthetically it looked a lot better if you like to keep both of these like solid little pieces on there all power to you but yeah I feel like this is perfect for DreamCon this is perfect for hot weather um conventions anime expo whatever it's in the summertime and it's hot and you want to just do like a cute look and it's a built-in fan cosplay like you can't get any better than that bringing this on a hot convention day like fan away the stinkies fan away the stinky man you didn't put deodorant on <gasps> i think that kind of concludes everything for the most part if you do have any questions um be sure to ask them in the comment section below. Um, I'm always willing to showcase more cosplays for you guys or answer any questions you guys have about this one still. If you do have any, I hope I did answer all of your questions though, cause like, I don't know what else to add. This is a really simple cosplay in regards to cosplaying and uh, you know, wearability. Like this one, you can definitely wear to a convention, for pictures, like it's an all around girl. Some of them, some of my costumes that I've done are not like that, so. This is a lucky one, I decided just like, let me make something that's a little bit more, you know, has some functionality with it and not just something that you take pictures in. So if you want to use it, you get all your money's worth and you'll be able to not only take pictures, girl, but you'll be able to go out, because that's what I was trying to do. But yes, and you can fan away those who don't know how to put deodorant on because this seems to be still a terrible problem in our community. But anyways, always thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys tremendously. And I hope you guys stay tuned, like, subscribe, all that sweet jazz, and uh, that's a wrap. Bye. Okay. <laughs>